In this part of our expert guide to journal publishing series, we take a look at the problematic phenomena of predatory journals, explain why they are a problem, and give some tips on how to spot and avoid such titles. So what is a predatory journal? There are several different terms used to describe these journals and publishing operations, and different ways in which you may consider them a problem. These journals take advantage of the author pays open access model to make money, while providing minimal editorial and technical services. They can be defined in different ways, but their problematic characteristics fall under two key themes, predatory and deceptive. Predatory is the most popular term used to describe these journals. This term has stuck because it sounds catchy, but it does not appropriately differentiate these journals from other commercial publishers. Deceptive is the more accurate description that indicates the underlying issues and the key unethical behaviours exhibited by these titles. They do not provide the services they say they do. These journals are designed to take advantage of the high demand among researchers, typically young doctoral students, to publish articles toward career, PhD and postgraduate assessments. But as they become more sophisticated, even experienced researchers may be deceived by them. These journals falsely present themselves as prestigious titles with accolades and credentials, charging low article processing fees with fast turnaround times and a low barrier to acceptance. The key details to investigate thoroughly match those we discuss in other videos and modules in this publishing guide. As you look for a suitable journal, you will most likely be dismissing predatory journals as naturally they will not meet the standards and requirements you are looking for. However, key features to be extra vigilant of include peer review practices. Deceptive journals usually claim to provide rigorous peer review but often conduct little or none at all and accept all submissions. Alternatively, journals will advertise their fast acceptance times from as low as three days as a benefit to authors. Is there a submission and acceptance date on published papers that you can see? Are they very fast? Read some of the articles. Are they written to a good standard that appears to have been peer-reviewed and received feedback? Editors and editorial boards. Here, deceptive journals often list people who have not given their consent to be an editor or a member of the editorial board to give a better impression of status and prestige. Check some of the names of board members to see if they state the journal position on their own websites. Can you find them at the institutions the predatory journal claims they are at? Are they in the same subject area as the journal? Does anything else seem amiss with the appointment? Indexing and impact factors. Predatory journals often falsely claim to be listed in prestigious journal indexes and often state very high impact factors. If a journal claims to have an impact factor, they will be listed in the Web of Science. Check Clarivate's master list to see if the journal is there if not, then the metric claimed on the journal site is not a true impact factor. This is also true for Scopus, SJR and site scores too. You can search the Scopus database for free to check whether the metric is real. In addition to deceptively claiming these statuses, journals may state metrics and impact factors with alternate titles from other databases. Alongside predatory journals, there is a simultaneous industry of predatory metric providers from which impact factors can be bought for a fee. Useful websites to help cross-reference any concerns you might have about a journal are Think, Check, Submit and the Directory of Open Access Journals, referred to as DOAJ. Think, Check, Submit will help you make decisions on multiple categories much like we have been through in this guide and the Directory of Open Access Journals is the definitive database which specialises in open access journals. IFIS also have our own database of high quality journals in the food sciences field where you can find reliable journals that have been thoroughly vetted. For more ideas to help you identify journals and feel confident about submitting your paper, read through our full expert guide to journal publishing and watch the other videos in this series, which look at why we publish in journals, the aims and scopes, instructions for authors, the peer review process, ethics and malpractice statements, and citation and alternative metrics. Mm -hmm.